After two previous attempts at trying to win the Best Film and Best Director awards at the BAFTAs, few would begrudge success in both at the third time of asking for the Oppenheimer director Christopher Nolan. The bookies made him odds-on favourite to repeat last night's double at the Oscars in three weeks' time. History, though, may not be on his side. A look back at the winners of BAFTA's Best Film Award all the way back to 2015 shows only one went on to be Best Picture at the Oscars. That was no man land in 2021. Still, that doesn't mean the great man can't dream of his own Hollywood ending. You can generally recognise a Christopher Nolan film. His style is distinct. A love of big sounds, big screen, a narrative that shifts time. I don't know if we can be trusted with such a weapon. And a fascination with all things scientific. He's spent the last few days scooping up awards many say are long overdue, including his first directing BAFTA. Uh, they're very heavy, so I feel like I'm getting a workout. Yeah. Don't believe his lies. He is the one. He's been giving our brains a workout for nearly 25 years. His complex story is becoming a feature of his work. A decade or so after graduating, Christopher Nolan's films were making waves. His lecturer at University College London says Nolan's passion for celluloid and the art of film started there. They had all the equipment, he learned how to use all of it. So he's technically very, you know, savvy, very interested. He really knows how things are done. And, and you know, he's still working, you know, I think he worked with Kodak on developing a new IMAX stock, film stock and so on. Uh, so he's really interested in that side of things. Credited with revolutionising the superhero film genre with his groundbreaking Dark Knight trilogy, Christopher Nolan's films have made billions at the box office. They've won 11 Oscars too, but he has yet to win one for Best Director. I'm very moved to receive this. I'm very the British Film Institute last week awarded him its prestigious fellowship, inviting him and his wife and producing partner Emma Thomas to tour their archives. He is, they say, helping to ensure cinema's future. His films pull you out of the house and into the cinema, and we've seen that with Oppenheimer. I mean, enough has been written about you know, the challenges of that film on paper, but the fact that he has been able to deliver a near $1 billion grossing film suggests that audiences want it. What Christopher Nolan would probably want next is that Oscar. Nina Nanar, News at 10.